Alrighty guys, here we go again. Pulled over for not wearing a seatbelt properly. So I've been pulled over 14 times before this point in this same little town in a period of about five years. So this is the last time I was pulled over in this town. I've only gotten three tickets in my entire life. One was for speeding back in 1998. The other one was this one right here for not wearing my seatbelt properly. And the third one, everybody's seen a couple weeks ago when I got pulled over by a California State Trooper. I mean, a California Highway Patrol. This is the New Mexico State Trooper. And, uh, let's see what happens. Say cheese, because we're on recording. Sounds good, you are too. Oh, I'm happy about that, actually. Oh, that's right here. Not wearing this? It is now. Yeah. I always wear my seatbelt. Okay. Is always. It, you're wearing it over your shoulder? Um, because, uh, well, it was like this, but when I have to dig over here, I got to get out of my Okay. Well, whenever you came over the bike path, you got everything. It was the same way that it was right now. Scott, where are you headed to? Home. Home? Okay. You have your registration shoes for the vehicle? Alright, there's insurance. Okay. What's that? This is another one. This, this is my daughter's car. Oh, okay. So I don't know exactly where she... Yeah. Okay. So I don't know exactly where she puts everything. Okay. Oh, this is my hand, right? Yeah. No, that's insurance. Oh, here it is. There you go. Yeah. I'm going to hold this missile right now. I'll put the missile right now. Put your tab right now. Okay. But I had my seatbelt on. That's I got a ton of food in that car. Good thing it's cold outside. I wouldn't want it melting. Sir, can I just talk to you back here in my car real quick? You can bring your phone with you if you like. Okay. You can leave the vehicle on, turn it off. It's up to you. You can leave it on. Are you familiar with how citations work here in New Mexico? No, I've never gotten a ticket. Never one? Okay, so the way it works is you have two options, okay? Here in New Mexico, you have the option to just pay the ticket straight up, okay? Or you have the option to go to court in this Okay, if you choose to go to court, I'll give you 30 days from today to appear in court. Uh, pretty much all you do is you go in and show them the citation. And you go from there, okay? If you want to set up a court date, you do that. If you want to choose a new payment plan, you do that. If you want to choose... Is there, it's a medical reason I don't put it over my shoulder. Yeah, if you can get a doctor's note, then I would, I would by all means go get one and then bring it into court. That way I know and the judge both knows, like, hey, you know, this is 
you know, for whatever reason, that's why she wasn't wearing it properly that day. Right. Okay. Then you also, right. have, like I said, you also have the option to just pay the citation. That's also 30 days, either online, over the phone, or through the mail. But if, like you said, you have, you can get a doctor's note stating that you can't wear it over your shoulder, then I would suggest you do that. Okay. Okay. So you want to go the court route? Yeah. Okay. Let me print it. If I have to get a ticket, yeah. might as well. This is 14. Is it? It makes 14 times? 14 times. Pulled over for oh, various oh, reasons. Oh, one time I crossed the threshold too soon, you know, there was no car. I mean, it's been a lot, you know. So, am I being arrested? No, of course not. Uh, <laughs> just uh, another officer. You I, just told me on a traffic, so it's coming back. Let me print it out for you, okay? Okay. This one. Uh, I get the signature inside these points. Disagree appearing court on or by December 21st. Okay. Right here's going to be the court address. Okay, 263 Robert H. Bradley. Okay. It's right over here across the street by, across the street from the Home Depot. Okay. Um, this is like you just said before, it's on or by December 21st. Okay. Do you have any questions? No. Okay, so I got to take it. Alrighty, so after being pulled over for the 14th time, I finally got my ticket. I went to my doctor, got my note. Went to the judge, he signed the order, and there you have it. The thing is, is I've had that piece of paper in my purse for the past, I don't know, seven years. And I changed purses and forgot to put that piece of paper in my purse. And I do apologize for all the wind noise and the odd angles and the not focused issues that were in the video. I had never really recorded police before. Didn't know we had a right to record our own traffic stops. And, uh, alrighty. So leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and much love to each and every one of you. Smile, you're being recorded.